Welcome to another Tech Tuesday video article. My name is Chris Hansen. I'm one of our senior consultants here at E1. And today we're going to be looking at a couple of the new features we've added into the interface. Um, so nothing too in-depth. Um, we're just going to be looking at a couple of tricks you guys can use to help make your lives a little bit easier in terms of organization. So what I've got on the screen in front of us is Smart Connect 2013, um, our latest build on here. And a couple of these things also relate back to Smart Connect 2012. Um, but going forward, most of the new stuff is only available in the latest build. So first off, one thing we did add in 2012 in Ford is the ability to customize your map list um, or any other grid for that matter within Smart Connect. Now these changes that I'm going to make are saved per user, so you can set up each user individually how you like so every person can um, view the maps they want to see, organize it the way they like it, um, and change it around on here. So the first thing I might want to do is go ahead and grab any one of my columns from my map list and just drag it to the top to group on that column. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and group on my destination so I can see what maps are running to CRM, which ones are running to GP. I can expand that out to see my list of maps underneath that. And then additionally, I could go ahead and gr group on any other column I want to. So let me add data source underneath that. And now we can see both our destination and where that data is coming from um, to easily narrow down our search. Now we've added a couple other fields on here, uh, I believe are both on 2013. One is our owner field and that is set by default when you create a new map, the owner is set to the person that's created it. Um, you can change that to a different account if need be. And then additionally we've added in a group column as well, um, so you can go ahead and customize the way you want to organize your maps. So if I take off the grouping I've done here and just take a look at my group column, by default the maps don't have a group, we'll have to go ahead and set one up for them. Um, but once you do assign them to a group, they're going to just appear under that list just like you would with any other column you're grouping on. Um, this just allows us to go ahead and customize the way you want to organize the maps rather than doing it on destination or some other predefined field. This lets you have full control over that. So if I want to go do it on group, how we'd set that up would be under our setup tab. It will be our integration groups option on here. And this allows you to go ahead and create new group names if you want to. So I can name one Tech Tuesday, add it on there, and that's going to be saved um, as a new group I can add existing maps to or any new maps I want to create on there. So other thing we can other things we can do that I kind of skipped over if I clear out this grouping is I can take off some of these columns altogether. So if I don't care what the last run date is, if I don't care um, you know, what the run number is up to, you can go ahead and simplify your list here a bit. And again, that's saved for your user itself. So let me open up one of these maps that hopefully has the data source and destination set up correctly. And if you get one pulled open, where you want to go to is the options tab on that. And that allows us to go ahead and set both the owner and the integration group if needed. Um, so this map is already set up on here. So let me try grab a different one my orders to invoices. Doesn't have a group yet so let's go ahead and just set that under Tech Tuesday. We can go ahead and save that and now if we went back to organizing on our group or if I would have left it like that we could see these changes take place right away. Um, so again it doesn't matter on what any of your other conditions are set on the map. You can go ahead and specify your own unique group for each or have each user go ahead and put them under their own group. Um, this really helps out when you have a large amount of people working on maps in your system or if you got different people that want to see um, different sets of them um, you can go ahead and organize them based on you know user based on the type of process they're going to run anything like that so thank you guys for sticking with me um, and i'll talk to you guys next tech tuesday